Hi everyone, it's Janet Wakeland with RemarkablyCreated.com. In today's One Take Wonder video, we are going to look at how easy it is to create some very simple photo props using the Stampin' Up! gift bow die, mustache framelit, and our new party pen, it's Big Shot die as well. So let's take a look at just how much fun it can be creating bows to use as bow ties, hair bows, your cute little mustache, and our pennants. One of the ones that we're working with, this is our mustache framelit, and it works with the magnetic platform and the Stampin' Up! Big Shot. And I have already cut two out. If you are a crafter, you probably have dowels around. If not, you can find them at your local craft store already cut. You can also buy really long ones at any of your um, home stores like Lowe's and um, Home Depot and simply cut them down with any um, saw that you might have at the house. It just depends on how extensive your tool collection is. And what I'm working with is Sticky Strip because I really like the adhesive properties of it. And I've simply laid the dowel down on the mustache and now we'll just go ahead and and you don't have to add a second one to the back you can just simply and it's not going to come up because now I'm talking there we go I'm going to peel our backing off you can just as well have it um, one-sided it just depends I just like it being double-sided so there you have your simple little mustache that you can hold up for your photos real simple and easy just cut two sandwich with sticky strip. So that's our mustache framelit. Another fun big shot die that we have is our gift bow die. And our gift bow die is great for packaging and um, putting fun bows on things, but it's also great for creating these fun little bows to use as bow ties and hair bows for your photo props. When you cut your piece of paper, you're going to get a long piece here. You're going to get another single um, piece. You may not need that. You're going to get tails if you want to use them. You're going to get the little band to use to put around. So let's go ahead and let's assemble that one real quick. And we'll just take a little bit of sticky strip. Just lay that down here in the middle. You could probably use regular snail as well too, at least for the basic assembly. But something like a photo prop is going to get manhandled a lot, so it is nice to use a fairly um, secure adhesive on it. So we're just going to bring the tabs in. I want the polka dots to show, because who doesn't love polka dots? How fun is that? And somehow or another, I am missing. Well, so there would be your polka dots. Let's take a different one here for a minute that might actually have the piece that I'm looking for. There we go and finish this off for you. Sorry about that, I'm not sure. It probably went flying and you guys probably saw it out there in video land and you're probably sitting there going, Jan, it's right there, it's right there. And it's not something I can see at the moment. Okay. So we'll just bring these tabs in. And then this piece here is designed to go around it just like so to create your fun little kind of band around the center. If you want tails, you have a couple of different choices. You can simply take your little fishtail pieces, and again, this would all be secured with adhesive, and you can do your bow that way with your little tails. You can also take your tails and bring them down like so and create tails. You can also use and create extra loops if you wanted a, a much fancier bow, so you could go ahead and keep making that even bigger. And with Christmas coming, it'd be fun to have a couple of bows so that you look like a present in your photos. And then to show you how I did the sticks, I went ahead and just again laid the stick in the center and laid a piece of sticky strip across to help hold that. Again, I like the sticky strip because it's real secure. On um, this one is actually designed to be held this way so that it can be a bow on top of your head or can, can be a bow tie coming in from the side. And so I just laid the um, dowel off to one side of the bow and went ahead and added my sticky strip so that it's hanging there and added a rhinestone right to the center. Now these large rhinestones are retired from Stampin' Up! but I do have a few. 
So anybody ordering both the mustache die and the gift bow die to create photo props will receive a package of these while supplies last as a gift with purchase from me. So there's our gift bow, and that was one of the fun things that we did. And then another thing that makes for really fun photo props is to make banners for your event. Our event at convention was called a Stash Bash. And so we went ahead and created these cute little mustache guys using the mustache. And then we cut pieces out from the new party pennants Big Shot die and added letters to it. And then people were able to uh, um, hold these banners up. And we had about five different banners that they were able to hold up as part of the photo props, depending on what they wanted to say and what they wanted to highlight. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you real quick the banner and something absolutely amazing that has been getting overlooked in the catalog. This is the Party Pennants die. It makes two large ones and two small ones. And the reality is that you could get four, party, four banner pieces out of a sheet. So you can get 24 per pack, 24 banner pieces if you're wanting the larger ones. And this, I don't know if you can hear how thick this is. This is our coaster board. It is vanilla. It is stampable. It's absolutely easy to work with. It die cuts very nicely, but it's very sturdy and it has some weight to it so that when it's hanging, things drape very, very nicely. So again, you can brayer it. You can sponge it. You can stamp directly onto it. You can leave it naked. You can punch it. You can die cut it. So this coaster board is actually very, very nice to work with. So again, the elements that I worked with to create some really fun, super quick, super easy DIY projects is our party pennants, Big Shot die. I used our mustache framelit, and I went ahead and I used our gift bow die. This is August 2014, and currently we have an amazing Big Shot promotion going on. So take a few minutes to stop by RemarkablyCreated.com for all of the details on that Big Shot promotion. Also to check out some really fun pictures of us with these cute photo props from our party at convention and all of the details for ordering anything that you saw here. So thanks for stopping by. Have fun making your own photo props. Take care and God bless.